as you explained to me, what's your name again? Tom. Oh, yeah, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get my... No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, eyes, eyes with me. <laughs> but great. Uh, you just told me about your cold showers mm. two and a half weeks ago. You stand up, uh, you rise at uh, five o'clock, and mm. you feel full of energy. Mm. I know, I recognize all that. Because, yeah, your vascular system is so trained, the, the, the oxygen flows so much better in mm. your body, and you become alkaline. It's like a, a electricity, mm. man. You got so much en more energy because it gets into the, into the cell and it creates more energy. I know all the chemical stuff now behind it yeah. because I work with all kinds of professors and doctors on this uh, and we are into major scientific breakthroughs just uh, taking cold showers breathing better yeah. and the mindset that we are capable of so much more yeah yeah well that, i mean that's the thing like when i when i started doing it it was more so i mean i was like i said before i was super vibrant and energetic and ready to go but also like the little negative thoughts um maybe i had like oh you know is there going to be like a massive class today that i'm gonna have to this and that that, that just weren't even there at all uh, that that's probably what i was most amazed about it was the the thought process not just how how i felt list psychological the list, list the cloud off your off your yeah, mind really early to start exactly, the day exactly exactly and uh, you know the big helmet the heavy helmet of the thoughts uh, uh, tolling around all day long mm -hmm. making you heavy uh, oh yeah uh, what's this it affects your experience mm. for sure now if you uh, take these cold showers and breathe deeper you get deeper into the brain You're losing yourself. You disconnect from all this thinking. Yeah. You just feel great. Yeah, so, totally. So when, yep. when, when when did you correlate? I mean, obviously, uh, you started doing this 25 years ago or something. These cold, yeah, even cold, more, 35 it, years 35 ago. 35 years ago. So, so when did it become, um, okay, this feels really nice. This is a good way to start the day. When did you start actually putting more time and effort? How did it become such a... Mm -hmm such a phenomenon yes and when did all these challenges and stuff start how did it all come about it all began with the soul search mm. i wasn't satisfied with things the way they 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 run uh, every day and i see too much uh, you know like people being not open not enthusiastic going to work uh, the same cycle over and over again no it's like encapsulating your mind mm. So it creates disease, it creates a lower being, a lower libido, lower uh, of everything. So uh, I went into this soul church, uh, visiting uh, and practicing a lot of esoteric disciplines, practices, cultures, traditions, languages. Looking, I became a soul searcher. Mm -hmm. And a soul searcher always becomes a finder. And I found out one, day, one morning, uh, walking in the park, Uh, Sunday morning, nobody was there. Uh, everybody still sleeping, of course. Uh, uh, Sunday, yeah. Huh? And uh, uh, there was a thin layer of ice on the water, and it just attracted me. Mm. I went in, and I I, I felt this is it. Mm. Not because I was thinking about it, because I felt it. Oh, and no. that I was looking for the mind body connection directly, the way nature meant it to be and i felt great afterwards i was only one minute inside mm. but from there whenever you feel good about something you go you back oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah yeah man and i have a real problem with that actually late, <laughs> late at night i can't seem to oh never mind, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> that becomes this. interesting <laughs> 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 So uh, from there, I came back every day during the winter, getting into the ice water. And guess what? I began to uh, become aware of my breathing. If I was breathing deeper, then I could stay longer in the, in the water. Mm -hmm. And a couple of months from there, experimenting with it all, and don't do it uh, at home yet, eh? uh, don't mm -hmm. do it. Because I'm not recommending directly going into the water and uh, and doing all this, but I did it. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, progressively, gradual, in control, doing the right breathing, making me able in 25 of these breaths to uh, while I was immersed in the water uh, up to my neck. Then take a full breath in, go down for five to seven minutes every time under oh. the ice. 
at ease, eh? fully mm. under control. And that gives it a tremendous power because the, the cold is, you don't feel the cold anymore. Mm. It's oxygen inside the deeper layers of your physiology going into the tissue. And when that happens, the chemistry of the body is changing and it's under your command. You know how to manipulate it. So when you're doing these breathing techniques, oh, wow. I did the. Um, it's, Alex, this is cool. Uh, it's great stuff. Yeah. I did the ice bath. I've done. I've been doing cold showers as well for a while now. Mm. Um, I did the ice bath last night with for the listeners. Uh, um, there was an evening with Wim Hof. I, I t- happened to be there. Did the ice bath. Now, is it when you you you're doing your breathing technique, which will go into the actual how that works. But when you're doing the breathing technique, then is it something that you have to actually say? It's your mind. Your mind, because you change the physiology of your body, is your mind the next thing that has to tell your body how you want it to respond? Because you've changed your physiology, physiology, physiology in more ways than one with the heat, with the, the toxins in your body. So, so is, it, yeah. is it breathing, breathing, and then your mind has to do exactly. the rest? Keep it simple. It is just the mind and the breathing. Both can, you know, make up the chemistry of your body. And we are in command, in possible command. That's my body connection. But for that, we have to change the chemistry of the body, becoming more alkaline. Mm. If we would do the breathing right now, and we had the uh, pH strips, like acidic to uh, al- uh, alkaline, alkaline, then within 20 minutes, we become alkaline with these breathing techniques learned in the cold. Mm. In the cold, you have to be effective. Mm. Cold is merciless but righteous. Mm. So I, fu- I, I found out that uh, just uh, by changing uh, my uh, breathing, I had a much more uh, willpower command over my body. And I could, uh, uh, and since then I've been doing amazing stunts, mm. and all the science, uh, scientific world could not understand yeah. how this was possible. And uh, yeah, my 26 world records in various disciplines, from endotoxin to climbing Mount Everest in shorts, yeah. or Kilimanjaro, <laughs> or running without <laughs> training, a full marathon beyond the polar circle in shorts. A barefoot half marathon. I think you'll hold yeah. that world record of the Mount Everest one for a while, Wim. You know, I don't think anyone's going to be going to try and beat you on that one. The reason yeah. I love that one the most is because you were wearing shorts, but what stopped you was a foot injury. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, I mean, it's like, yeah, look, I'm pretty much naked here. I'm on the, you know, the, the harshest mountain in the world, but yeah, I've got a sore foot, so I'll, I'll probably trek back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. Hey, with um the, the cold showers, I, I love the, the focus on the breathing because um the first time someone sort of told me, you know, oh, I'm following this guy, Wim Hof, and he's, he's talking about the breathing and, and the cold showers. I, I was kind of like to myself, ah, I'll just jump in there. Should be okay. This was only, you know, like I said a couple of weeks ago, turned it on right full cold. And um, I went in there and I actually started to suffer. I was, oh, oh, oh. And I woke up, dad, he, he probably thought something a little bit more sinister was going on. But uh, it's, it's just, it's just. <laughs> now it becomes interesting Dad's again. Dad, again. Dad, Dad, Dad. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't oh Lou, it was the super Lou. Call Dad, call Dad. <laughs> no, but it's, it's amazing how, you know, the, I did that the first time and it was, you know, just went to shit because I didn't know what I was doing. And then when I tried to pay more attention to the breathing and I'd almost sort of meditate before I did it and got really deep and relaxed and then I went into the cold and it was just so much easier it was amazing you know wow it was just the, it was just that that breathing focus you know yes yeah, can, can great. you explain the actual breath because people yes. people don't really know it. we're yeah. just talking about breathing like, can you explain or even show us because I was doing it last I wasn't sure if we are doing it right like, mm. can you sh- show us what you mean by the breathing mm. yeah the, the, the breathing changes the, the alkalinity in the blood and in the tissue uh, when that happens, the chemistry uh, is optimized. What do you need to go in an extreme, like cold impact, is force on the body. You need to be optimized. Mm. Now, if you make yourself optimized using breathing to get deeper in the tissue, then you optimize the chemistry, and then the pain signal will not come even under the stress of a cold a, f- a freaking cold mm. shower, mm-hmm. yeah. I real, I, I mean, ice water, mm. even that, and it shows uh, that we are. Um, I've been doing stuff, uh, but doing the breathing well, optimizing my chemistry, 
makes uh, me almost invulnerable. Mm. It, the, the water feels soft. Mm. And why? Because it's about the chemistry. The chemistry is able to neutralize the impact on the nervous system uh, uh, of uh, the, uh, the the impact of the cold, a, a, a force on, uh, and, and we got this chemistry, mm. and it can be our, uh, under our command. Mm. So uh, changing the alkalinity of the blood, that's just one. We just completed new studies, and it all shows that people are able to tolerate pain far more by influencing that chemistry within the body. So mm. it's not only about the cold, it's also about the heat, deprivation of uh, oxygen, like Mount Everest or Kilimanjaro, and then in shorts. But uh, also the daily stress, and also emotion is stress, and also what a Baxil and a virus and a bacteria are creating is stress. And we are able, if we just go in with the breathing to change the chemistry of the body, optimizing it, and then it tackles all these problems mm. with, uh, with no problem. Mm. It's amazing. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. And it's so simple. Discovery Roger, go for deploy. 